Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I was trying to get on the right path, but then my ego, shaitan, took over. I have not been praying for many days now. I don't know what to do. Okay. I'm assuming this one has a shaykh. Hmm? If you have a shaykh, you should try to get in touch with him. And ask him for help. Say, pray for me. The Wahhabis, they go to each other. Brother, pray for me. Brother, brother, pray for me. But when we say we have to ask Ali Allah to, for prayer, they say, no, that is shirk. We say we have to go to the tombs of Ali Allah, no, that is shirk. We say that we have to go to the Holy Prophet and ask him to pray for us in our shafaat. They say that is shirk. So, no brains, no sense. So, if you have a shaykh, if you have people who are able to pray for you, because now we've come to a spiritual disease. Now we come to something that concerns the spirit. You have to go to those ones who are doctors in order to get the help. Maybe to you it doesn't mean anything, but to them, with their nearness to those holy ones that is beloved to Allah and His Prophet, their prayer works. Maybe not our prayers, but their prayer works. And Allah is saying, seek means to come near to me. So you must seek those means. Go to those ones who are able to pray for you. Go to those ones, be with them, serve them, help them, ask for their help. Put your ego down, then that's a time when there's no amount of words or reading or n nothing is going to help. Because now when you start doing that to those ones who are near to Allah, Allah will make it easy for you. Understand that that disease, any disease, when the cure comes, the body is not going to like, not the body, but the disease is not going to like it. Which means that when the cure comes, in the old days, the medicine, every medicine, it tastes nasty. Yeah? It tastes terrible. It's also informing us that, no, to be sick is not a good thing, and we don't like it, so we shouldn't get sick if we have to eat this nasty medicine again. In these days, all the medicines tasting like candy. Everything is looking like candy or looking like drugs. Uh, so it makes you to feel good. To say, it's okay, get sick because you're going to eat this. So, the medicine maybe is going to come to you in a hard way, in a harsh way. And that one definitely will have to tell you to step in your ego, will direct you here and there. Your ego is going to rebel. But, if you follow your ego, the end, it is a disaster. The end, it is hell. It is the fire. So be intelligent. If you need the help, go to those ones who, are, who have the help. Those ones who are Sahib al-Madad, Sahib al-Imdad, and they're able to help you. As for their prayers, follow their advice. Little by little, then you'll be able to find faith back and the strength to carry that faith. Yes, that is why Dargah, it is also important. We're not saying it's not important at all. Don't come. We're saying it's come because... You go through up and down, but when you come to a dergah, if you come to a community, if you come to sohbet, if you come to a, a jamaat, they're going to boost you. They're going to give you that energy, and you're going to find it is easier now. Before, I've never seen people who come here because they didn't pray at home. Maybe one day, two days, one week, one month, they didn't come, and they come here, and they see us praying, and they refuse to pray too. Never they do that. They get motivated to pray. So, uh, that is one of the functions of communities in Dergah also. People who have finished their batteries, they can come to get recharged again and to continue their lives, inshallah. It may be easy for you, but if you have no shah, find a shah. If you have a shah, follow him. And be part of that community. Don't exclude yourself from that community. Go to the sohbats, go to the Dergahs, and you'll be able to find that strength. And they will fill you up. They will last you maybe for a certain time. Then you have to come back again and recharge. Inshallah, Rahman.